Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Tuesday the 18th, and we've got some sales to pull for you real quick. We're going to follow Kathy around and see what we sold today. Hey, guys. Yeah, let's start over here. DH. I have a different thing again today. Yeah, we mentioned it a little yesterday on how we're trying it today. I sold these crocs on facebook marketplace um for 15 plus ship i just bought these off kids and as part of a bundle to get the other pair that i kept for my son for cheaper so um yeah i have 10 in and i just wanted that back so i did 15 plus ship and then they sold in just a day you probably noticed kathy's voice is doing a little bit better and <laughs> i'm sounding a little more sick <laughs> my congestion is taking over but right. we got work to do so <laughs> these grace and la jeans on poshmark i listed them just yesterday for 39 got an offer of 29 and was happy to accept these are part of the stimulus check challenge i have about a dollar 50 or so into those from the denver bins very nice and then a b this is something we've had for over a year i remember like buying this on one of our like last trips just before like covid and everything so uh, it's just a Back to the Future tee. It's not like anything amazing. Just the brand Horizon New York or NY. Um, we paid a dollar ninety nine for it. Thought we could get eighteen to twenty bucks shipped, but I mean, I guess if you it sold on Posh for ten, and then they paid the shipping and right. tax. So I guess they did kind of pay that much, but I was hoping it'd sell on eBay for that much so that we'd at least profit ten bucks. Right. But, shipping would have been like four yeah. bucks, three bucks, so. <laughs> So ten dollars, we make seven oh five. We paid two, so not the best, but happy to see that go. And I probably made us buy that. Just yeah. I'm a huge <laughs> Back actually, to the Future yeah, fan. Come <laughs> with us that day. I've never seen the movie, so don't let your personal opinions of things <laughs> sway whether or not you buy them. Yeah. Sometimes you, sometimes you might win, but oftentimes you don't. <laughs> This is just a Vineyard Vines t-shirt. Uh, this was my son's. I actually got it from Goodwill a while back for $1.99. He wore it and it actually even has a hole in it and I still sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $12 plus shipping. All right, and then AG. I this would sell faster than it did, but I'm glad it finally sold. It's just a Marmot dress. Um, I got this retail arbitrage for $12. Sold it on eBay for $32.15 plus shipping, so not bad. Alright, AE, this is something else I thought would sell quicker and for more, but when I got it home and listed it, I had, I don't remember if it was a stain or just a tiny imperfection, so whenever something has a, a fly, price it a little lower. So this is Alaskan Hard Gear brand. Um, yeah, the shirt, it's like a nylon material. It reminded me of like a PFG shirt. I could just tell it was good quality. I'd never heard of the brand at the time. Um, so I did pay $5.99 for it, and it finally sold for $18.35 plus shipping. And we've sold that brand a few times now, right? Yeah, we've had so a few pairs of pants. Yeah, this the first one I picked up, but the other ones did sell like right away. Yeah, the nice, uh, are they like insulated jeans? Yeah, the jeans that we sold, I don't know if they were insulated, but they were just They're heavy duty really jeans. nice, and yeah. those sold like right away for like 40 bucks. Like something. a work gear, like Carhartt kind of <laughs> jeans. Yeah, so definitely a good brand to look out for, Alaskan Hard Gear. I'm pretty sure it sold at Duluth Trading Company. Uh, then we sold this bra. This was the last one hanging in the closet from that we listed a while ago. And that one sold on eBay for $22.50 plus ship. That was an offer I had sent out. And we did just, I photographed all these ones today. So we okay. finally sold all the ones from the closet. These are the ones that I had listed a couple weeks ago. So only about three of those left. And then these are the ones I photographed today. And by the time you guys see this video, I'm sure they'll be listed. Yeah. So, yeah We've been needing sizes. to get some good listings up. <laughs> and, and those bras are a super easy thing to list. The only they thing. They sell really fast. Yeah, the only thing we haven't really. Figured out mostly because once we get through this batch, we're not really going to be doing a lot of bras. Yeah, but I mean, we still have, what, probably 15 more yeah. hanging in our closet downstairs. So but. I'm trying to do, yeah, smaller batches. Those last three from the last batch, I didn't even cross post yet. So maybe I'll do that today right. as well just to 
Because they, I don't even think they've been listed 30 days on eBay, and most of them have already sold. So. But that's just hard to organize those bras without kind of yeah. crushing them or. <laughs> So I probably Anything. will still kind of source bras from now on. Um, I mean, I don't, I doubt I'll find a bunch of third love ones, but yeah. probably tons of Victoria's Secret and stuff. They seem to sell quickly and I probably won't ever get that many at once, maybe one or two at a time. But yeah, uh, these are just some block tap shoes. We got these in Nebraska for $3.99 and I just sold them on Mercari today for $20 plus ship. And we've actually sold quite a few tap shoes, right? Yeah. Like five the or so. One that I need to photograph and list. Yeah. All right. And then last seal is going out to a viewer, Lisa, who purchases from us all the time. So, Lisa, thank you so much. She's grabbing some Carhartt jeans. I'm assuming for her husband, but I assumed that with Maria the other day. <laughs> and uh, she bought that Harley shirt for herself. So, that's what I get for assuming. Yeah. <laughs> so, these are just some Carhartt jeans. I. I had averaged my cost of goods the day I bought these, so they came out to eleven ninety, even though I don't think I paid that much for the jeans. So, um, and then Lisa scooped them up for twenty six seventeen plus ship. That was an awesome. offer I had sent out, not knowing, you know, it was her or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Thank you so much for the support, Lisa. We appreciate it. And yeah, it looks like we'll go ahead and get this stuff all packed up. Shouldn't be too hard. We got all the labels ready to go yeah. this time, so <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, everybody, we got everything packed up, ready to go, and we did not have any more sales come in, um, but this is okay. You know, it's we're experiencing a little bit of a slower time right now, and I think I think a lot of people are, and that's okay for us. Um, we're just going to try to list harder and more listings, um, making up for the time that we're not spending on shipping. So um, I think we've got plenty of stuff sourced that we've got to get listed up, and actually... Um, I think all these shoes are ready to be photographed. We got a pile there also, and I just cleaned and got that pile over there ready to go as well. So Kathy's gonna be photographing those shortly. And then this desk, or this desk, this table here has a bunch of stuff that's kind of been on it for quite a while. We're going it's to try to work through it. Looks, no, it's, it doesn't, it's not as bad as it looks. It's probably 20 or 30 items. Yeah, a good day's worth of work. Less and than an hour of photography which yeah i the picture taking is like what i really dislike the most so yeah it's kind of the thing we keep putting off and but it's the most important thing because <laughs> you have to photograph the product if you want to sell it so. yep yeah. it's funny because the more we put it off the more we talk about getting a photographer which <laughs> in turn makes us put it off more we just need to get we just need to pull up our pants and get it done for sure um, but yeah, we're going to we're going to try to get through this uh, stuff that's been on this table for a while. This table, um, we're we're going to have a garage sale this weekend. Our neighborhood is having a neighborhood garage sale, and we're probably going to use that table. Maybe this table, and we have like a a rack, like a rolling rack for clothing, and a lot of a lot of the stuff that didn't sell at JBF, we're going to try to I don't know discount hugely, like what fifty cent a dollar kind of stuff at our garage sale, see how much of that sells. And that's gonna be on Saturday. So we have, what, another three days to prepare for that. <laughs> it's kind of scary when you say <laughs> it's only three days away, but I mean, it's, just, it's been a long time since we've had a garage sale. Do you remember? Yeah, I didn't. It's probably been five years. I didn't enjoy the last one either. So yeah. I uh, honestly probably am gonna go around the neighborhood and shop. So Chris is probably gonna be stuck She'll here by pawn it off so. on me. <laughs> but yeah, everything that we're gonna put out, it's gonna be like, Honestly, yeah. we just would be happy to get rid of it. So if yeah. people are like, take half what we're asking, that's fine pretty much. So, and yeah, it's not like that hard. Like we're just going to go to each room of our house and yeah. pull things out that we haven't used in a year, or six months. So. Yeah. We're typically pretty minimalistic when it comes to having things. We don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff, collectibles, anything like that. Yep. So we just, that's just how we are. We don't really hang on as much. So a lot of our yard sale is probably going to be stuff that we're just ready to let go or stuff that is has been in the business for too long and we just need to get that whatever money we can out of it. It's probably all going to be at a loss for real, but there's not a whole lot of stuff left anyway. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and get this stuff off to the post office and go pick up Connor from school. 
And yeah, you know, I just realized Reese hasn't been up here this whole video. He's <laughs> been avoiding us. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sorry you didn't get to see Reese today, but I'm sure we'll get him up here tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.